50 years and 100 years more. The people of my motherland, Kadesh, have bent their backs in slavery beneath the heavy yoke of the Egyptian pharaoh. Ever since Tatmose II crushed our pitiable Kanaani relation at Megiddo, the people have faced the most severe hardships. The terrible burden of tribute fell hard on the cities. The weakness of the cities led to the formation of the Apirut Hards, vicious bandits and mercenaries devoted to a life of pillage. They would roam from city to city in search of gold and small children for sacrifices to their one god Yahoo. Only my grandfather, Sutarna, dared to take a stand against the Apirut. He led a coalition that defended the deadly warrior Labayu and pushed his sons into the desert from whence they came. Yet my home Kadesh, the city of light, has long endured. Come in. Shalom, King Sutara. Ah, oh, Benel, my good friend, to what do I owe this pleasure? My lord, uh, have you forgotten these most auspicious of days? It is today the first day of Ra'ash Yeni. Ra'ash Yeni. Bless my old bones that I could have forgotten this week long holiday of feasting and drinking associated with new wine. We must prepare the ritual. Do not exert yourself, my lord. It has already been done by me and the other Kohanin, but just save your energy for tonight. I think it's time my grandsons Ari Tashub and Nikwamadu attend the drinking in the night time. Are you sure? Uh, Hari Tashub is only 16, and Nick Madu is only 13. Wouldn't that disrupt their studies? I understand your concern, Manel, but is it not appropriate to have these future heirs to my throne spend some time with the civil and military officials, not least among them Atacama, their own father, and the next king? In truth, Sometimes I forget that Etakama is their true father, because I've always considered Ari Teshub to be like my own son. No doubt you have heard the old saying, paternal love between a Kohan and his acolyte is a mass manifestation of the gods. I'll keep that wisdom in my chest. It looks like sundown is nearly upon us. We'd better prepare for the ritual. Go with the gods, my dear Benel. May they protect your reign over this holy city of Kadesh. Gather round, people of Kadesh, for your wise and fair King Sutarna to pour sacrificial libations for the gods. Firstly, I invoke mighty El, the patriarch god. Now I invoke Baal Hadad, the thunderer, who gives us the rains for a bountiful harvest. Lastly, I invoke Baalat Ketesh, the sacred goddess of light, beloved of our city. Before we consume our delicious feast and imbibe copious quantities of new wine, I would like you to say a few words. The gods have answered our prayers. The harvest was exceptional. Also the gods granted my son-in-law, Ektakama, numerous victories over Labayu's sons and a vicious Apirat. Enough of this. Let's eat already. 
My loyal wife, Sorat, just said, let's go and eat. Oi, Sutarma! Et Takama, what a pleasure. It is entirely mine, father-in-law. I have to say, your speech was superb, albeit you have made one factual error. Tell me, what mistakes have I made? Your fallacy was in attributing my victories in Amku to the gods. In reality, it was cold, hard military science. For example, in one battle I feigned weakness and retreated. The Apirut walked right into my ambush. Do you not know the old saying? When you use trickery to defeat a wicked enemy, you become no less dishonorable yourself. War isn't about honor or dishonor. It is only about smarts and strength. If only Biriawaza hadn't let the defeated Apirut into his territory to recover. Maybe you should spend more time with your wife before you leave for battle. Who knows? Maybe someday you will have to prostrate yourself before her as your rightful king. Oi, clown! Is the poison ready? Yes, Etakama, it is ready. Why do you need it so soon? It looks like we'll have to kill Sutarna ahead of schedule. This is because he might want to declare his daughter as the rightful king. As a precaution, I've decided I'll have him killed before he can change my position as heir. Uh, by the way, what's the nature of the poison? It is asp venom. When I slip it into his drink tonight, he will suffer severe searing pains followed by death. Then let's retire to the feast hall and carry out this deed. Ari Teshub, I have been looking for you all over the place, for you weren't at the temple. Hey, what are you doing? Oh no! You have caught me doing in what I have kept secret all these years. I've been training him in sword fighting for the past five years. It would not benefit a person as important as him to be helpless in combat. If that is what you think, Yasib, I respect you for it, as you were perhaps the greatest hero of our realm. Ari Teshub is actually a very exceptional warrior. The reason we kept this secret is because by no means should Etakama find out. I won't say any word of this to anyone, Ari Teshub. You should get washed up and meet me at the nighttime feast. Oi, clown! Tell us a joke while you pour our wine. So a young Baruti man tells his mother that he's fallen in love and is going to get married. He says to his mother, Just for fun, Mama, tomorrow I'm going to bring three women to the house to meet you, and you can try and guess which one I'm going to marry. Of course, her agrees. The next day, he brings three beautiful women into his mother's house and sits them down on the couch. They chat for a while with his mother, who serves almonds and wine. That evening, after the women have left the mother's home, he asks his mama, All right, which one am I going to marry? All of them. How do you know? I couldn't stand a one of them. <laughs> you are very funny, clown. Where do you come from? in the region of Upu. Ah, the kingdom ruled by Biryawaza. Now that you mentioned him, Biryawaza sent me here to offer you a gift. Fine aged wine from Dimashk. I couldn't be more pleased. Bring it in. It's a nice smell it has. Well, cheer. 
So, Sutarna, how do you like it? My God, I'm experiencing a powerful burning sensation. He must have been poisoned! Where is the clown? Where did he go? He escaped! Guards, take your chariots and head him off at the gate! My suffering is severe, and I've soiled my robes! Stop, you evil clown! What have I done to be considered evil? Why? You have killed our white king Sutarna with poison. Let's drag this cloud off to the dungeons. Let me go. I'm innocent. Bring in the murderer. I would speak to him alone. Here's the evil clown now leave so i can question him go why were guards sent after me you told me i wasn't to be pursued keep your mouth shut and do what i tell you and you will survive and accrue much wealth from me what should i do if they question me maintain your innocence claim you had no idea what was put in that jar with no evidence against you, they'll have no choice but to free you. And then you'll receive your reward. Do you want that I should torture him to find the really gritty truth of who's responsible? No. Kana'anani law states that it's wrong to torture. And in this case, it's unnecessary. It is very obvious who's behind this most wretched deed. Etakama is right. It is abhorrent to the gods to use torture even on the most vile of the criminals. We'd better go form Sutarna's funeral before he starts to smell of rotten aubergines. We are here together this day to mourn the death of our beloved king Sutarna. His immortal essence will be in the land of freedom where he shall converse with Baal Haddad every winter for eternity. He will also live in the hearts of those he touched with his fiery spirit. Among those is his son-in-law, Etakama, who say a few words. My pain in losing my dear blessed father-in-law is severe. I can hardly stand my agony. How can I serve Kadesh, as he always had, with wisdom and virtue? He who once defeated Labeu and is a peer of hordes, how can I match him? I cannot best his valor, but I shall preserve his legacy. As far as the murder is concerned, I will get to those responsible and send them to their graves. Anyone who has any idea of who could be responsible should come forward now. I know who it was. It. You, Ekakama. I've seen it. She's another. Let's walk her away, far from the prying eyes and listening ears. Let go of me, you goat-nipple She is obviously just upset. We must treat her mercifully. With this crown, I hereby declare Etikama, King of Kadesh. It's uh, a bit too small, isn't it? I'll need a new one. May I ask, will you raise the gold and silver? Guard, go take 20 shekels of silver and 5 of gold from the temple treasury. If any of the Kohanin resist, chop off their heads and bring them to me. Yes, sir! You can't do that! 
We use the temple funds to feed the poor and the needy. Who are you, a lowly Kohan, to tell a king what he can or can't do? Maybe these needy should be less greedy. Or maybe you'd rather I just melt down a few idols to accrue the gold and silver. Sacrilege! It is really much better to take from the temple than to raise taxes. It comes from the same place, but people prefer tithes to taxes. I'm back, my lord. It was really easy to get the materials. All the Kohanim were gone, so I just took what I pleased. Here is the gold and the silver at your requested. Also get the best smith to make my crown, for this shall be the start of a new age. The Age of Etakon. Hey, you with the funny clothes. What's your name? I'm Latuha the Clown from Damashk. So you're the guy everyone says poisoned my husband, Sitarna. I, I am he, but the truth is I'm innocent. Well, that's clear and obvious. The fact is, I'm here in prison because I spoke the truth in front of everyone. Who do you think was responsible? T to me, it's a mystery. Etakama, of course. Sutana was doomed the moment he threatened to disinherit Etakama. Is it likely I'll be the scapegoat for the poisoning? No. If I know Etakama, and I think I do, he has bigger fish to fry. He is certainly going to attack your lord, Burya Waza, using the poisoning as a justification. Funny thing is, all this talk of poison reminds me of a joke. We'll be trapped in here for a while in, in this prison. You might as well tell it. So there was this man, see, and he went to the Kohan with a problem. I think my wife is trying to poison me, he said. Well, naturally, the Kohan paid a little visit to that woman to investigate. When he returned, he gave his admonition. Take the poison. The new governor from Egypt has arrived, and he intends to speak with you. He says his name is Pihuri. Do you know what his name means? How would I know? I don't speak Egyptian. In Egyptian, Pihuri means Syrian. In fact, this man came from my hometown. Well, don't hesitate, let him in. Well, 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 if it isn't Etakama, the avaricious devil, good to see you. Both Tutankhamun sends his deepest regrets for the death of your father-in-law, his loyal vassal. Good of you to visit. I was just about to question the murderer of my father. How? I don't see any implements of torture. Don't you know Kadesh is a Canaanite city? If I violate their secret law, I would appear unsightly. You, Etikama, afraid to appear unsightly? Just because I know there are no gods, that does not mean that I shouldn't pretend. Isn't that what the Kohanim do? Anyway, I am sure this bird will sing if we give it a few seeds to peck up. Oh. In the accused! So, you brainless ninny, what is your name and who is your lord? I'm a clown in the service of King Biryawaza of Damashk. Say you to the charges of murder we have against you. I swear on all that is holy, I am innocent. You heard it yourself. Upon all that is holy, he swears he did not poison the wine of Sutarna's chalice.
could it be? That the wine was already poisoned before it left Dimash? I know nothing of poison or poisonous plots. This poor man is no more than a pawn in the great plot created by a clever fox of a man. Do you think Biriwaza is the one to blame? It is a certainty. He figured that while we are stymied by Sutarna's death, that would be the time to strike. This is supported by his recent decree to allow the vicious Apirut to recover in his territory. He is no doubt but to use them as an army against yours truly. But I am no coward. Soon my army will be ready to meet his in battle. Only my wits can save Kadesh from the combined Apirut and Dimashk forces. Piriwaza! What news? It is as you feared. Our current treatment of the Abirut has angered Atakama, King of Kadesh. He is raising an army of brave warriors to smite you. A curse at Atakama and his sons. Bring me Mutbaal, Lord of the Abirut, and you have a few words with him. Mutbaal, tell me. Why don't you my lands a base to launch raids in the K at Kadesh? Such an abuse of my hospitality. You lead destruction to my people. How dare you chastise me when my army is the only thing that can save your worthless hide. Is this true? Is your regular army sufficient to defeat Atacama? Sessions, definitely. Our combined forces will obliterate Kadesh. What manner of concessions? One thing I need in particular. All the young males of Damashk who have not yet completed the rites of manhood. My gods, what are you them for? Just an antiluvian ritual of the Eperu custom partaken before battle to ensure victory. Our great god Yahu ultimately provides. Isn't there any other way? No. So, we're at an agreement? I suppose so. Now, to seal the deal, bring in the king's youngest son in a basin and two cups. Where am I being taken? I want mama! Azu, no! With this drinking of this wine, the deal is sealed. The wine is just ambrosia. Berawaza, you should drink. Before too long, Kadesh will fall and Etakama will be a dead man. Keep your wrist in! Uh, Remember to bend your knees uh, and lower stand. Uh, 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 How was the cutting, oh my master? Pretty good. Anyway, you've trained enough. Tonight, we drink with Kohan Manel. So, what's an Egyptian's favorite type of bread? I don't know. Bread. Shalom. Here, let me pour you a drink. Kadesh has truly fallen to shame since the ascension of Etikama. His raiding of the temples for gold and his confiscation of citizens' belongings have lessened their prosperity. Truly as avarice and greed know no bounds. Also, I've heard he's an atheist. I'm not surprised. It is common for the Hurrians to be godless. It seemed a bit surprising as he did name his son here after Teshub, the Hurrian god of thunder. Benel, terrible news. Surat is being led out to be slaughtered. No, that can't be possible.
So that's when I got the idea, get rid of this lily-livered Canaanite law and institute true Hurrian justice. So let's rid ourselves of these useless leeches feeding off our sustenance in the prison. he kill Surat? How dare he kill my grandmother? We must stop him! If you get within a few paces of him with malice in your eyes and sword in your hand, his guard will remove your head. And even if you kill the guards, the army is fiercely loyal. I will need to be popular in the army. And what better way of doing that than by winning victories. That's the best way, but how will you be put at the head of an army? All Atacama thinks you are is a Kohan. I have a way. Who is the greatest blight to the countryside? That would have to be the apparent giant Gilgag, ravager of farms. He has single-handedly routed any effort to eliminate him. Uh, what if I put an end to him? Then Etakama will have no choice but to put you at the head of an army. One question, though. Is Ari Teshub here capable of defeating Gilgag? Then it's all settled. Ari Teshub leaves tomorrow to fight Gilgag. Oh my god, Baal Haddad! Please restore peace and prosperity to Kharesh. Oh, I implore you, please do this, oh great powerful god that I worship. Why not do this? Ah. Do not worry, oh my child. Kadesh will be restored through your future deeds. I shall protect you and help fulfill your destiny. Ah. Hand me all your viables, or I will kill you. You already have everything! I swear! Honey, before I cut your tongue, you puny Canaanite! Halt right there! Oy vey, another challenger. I was hoping to eat meat today. The only one thing you will eat today is my chopesh in your face! We all thought that Etakama had forgotten us. You have our thanks. Etakama did forget you. I came despite his commands. What is your name, you lion of Kadesh? I am Ari Teshub. Etakama. Yes, messenger? What is it? Strange news has just come from the villages. Gilgag has been slain. By whom? By Ari Teshub. My son? Ari Teshub? The same. The villagers are already calling him the Lion of Kadesh. It cannot be. All he's ever been is Kohan Benel's disciple, trained to administrate and pontificate. What do you plan to do about him? Gilgag was one of my operatives. He was hired for two purposes, to obtain wealth and uh, to create hatred for the Apirut. However, since this Lion of Kadesh is so popular, it would behoove us to put him at the head of an army, 
alongside his brother, Nick Madu. Men of Kadesh, what a brood of lions we are, for today we march off to war. My brothers, each of you shall lead a force of 100 men to the south, towards Dimashk, against the combined forces of Beriawaza and Mothbal. And you, my sons, shall lead a force of 10 picked warriors west to defeat the Apurut of Ahadahu in Anku. Ah, isn't it a lovely day, brother? I think the gods are happy with us. Ari, you're naive to believe in gods. And even if they exist, you're, you'd find they wouldn't be concerned with the puny affairs of man. Why would not Baal Haddad be concerned in a campaign against the followers of his enemy? Yum. Why? Religion is just a tool to control the people. All the sacred stories are just myths and parables used to keep the people in line. What are you doing? Oh! If it be the will of Baal Haddad, may the clouds open forth and Poor rain. Thank you, O Bright Row One. Shishitia, King of Anasaji, welcome Adyahu to land. All has been drought. You saved our hashish crop. What is your name, Savior? I am Ari Teshub, and this is my brother Nikmadu. We've come from the city of Kadesh to seek an audience with King Shatia of Enishasi. It would be unwise to be with Shatia. He is run over by Ariyahu and Aparut. You need to meet Adirisha, son of Shatia. He will come. He will welcome you into the hope you will liberate the land. Come, I will lead you to him. I can't believe Etikama lied to me about the gods. From now on, you shall be as my father. Ah, come in. Shalom. Shalom. You must be the Ari Teshub, and Nick Madu, the Kedashim I heard so highly praised. And you are a benevolent host must be Abdi Risha, Prince of Enishasi. That I am. May I ask you, Ari Teshub, do you enjoy your surroundings? What I have always heard is true. Enishasi is truly the jewel of the Amku Valley. It is unfortunate that you have suffered a drought. It is because of the dirty Aparut in the region Clearly the gods disapprove of their child sacrifice, at least the holy gods. If only my father would see that. How come you can't persuade your father to expel the Apirut? My father Shatia is enamored of the Apirut chief, Ahad Yahu. He's blind to their evils. How did he become so enamored? To tell you the truth, Ahad Yahu has been having my father up his ass. What? I know, it's just that my father appreciates the warm, fuzzy feeling of Ahad Yahu's large, throbbing, Aparu schlong far into his geezerly colon. It makes him feel beautiful, feminine. We must make a plan to, to eliminate Ahad Yahu before he goes to reinforce his brother, Moot Ball. Ah, oh, boys, you must be talking of affairs of state. May I join you? Ah, who is this charming beauty? Yes. Yeah. She's my sister, Rochette. I'd love to talk to the Lion Quadesh alone. Hmm. I think she likes you. All right. I will go. While I'm gone, Nikmadu, 
plan with Abdi Risha about our course of action. So, Richette, how can I help you? Tell me the truth. Do you like me? I only just met you. Why do you ask? Oh, you know, do I arouse any sort of feelings in you? You are an incredibly beautiful lady. Your face is unforgettable. And I can see your troubled soul through your eyes. Oh, that's so sweet of you to say. Hey, do you mind if I feel your muscles? I suppose. Oh my, so strong, so handsome. Ugh! Why have you touched me upon the place of Shabbat? I just had to get a measure. Did I measure up to your standards? Completely. You can kiss me if you like. Okay, if you won't, I will. I think you want me to marry you. You are so smart, but will you please do it? The truth is, my life depends on it. When? As soon as possible. I will send for a good Kohan of Kadesh, Panel, immediately. You really agree? Thank you so much. Haha, -ha, I was right, she does like you. Guess what, brother? I'm getting married. Who's the lucky lady? There are three of them. They're sisters named after Pride, Tale, and Artse after the Doctors of Ball. Oh, you mean the three ugly sisters? I don't much care how they look like. Their father is a rich man and left her a dowry of 200 shekels each. Ari Teshub. This is my betrothed, Grishette. Uh, Shalom. All right, let's get this wedding ritual started. I hereby invoke Yarik and Nikal, the deities of matrimony, to watch over this couple. With this sacrifice of a goat to our gracious gods, this wedding is sanctified. The groom may now take the bride to his quarters and consummate the act of marriage. I love you so much, Ari Tashub. Not so fast. Rishet, you are to become my wife, and Ari Tashub you are to die! Run away, brother! Ahad Yahu is invincible in single combat! He'll kill you! Take uh your brother's advice and run away! Today is not such a cause of joy for you after all! No! I will fight you in single combat! Ugh. You'll regret having fought me in single combat! Do you think you can defeat me? I'm invincible in single combat. What are you doing? Praying for your life? You won't succeed. Hooray! Ari Tashubi won! Let's celebrate with wine and hashish! Whoa! What a celebration that was! 
Yeah, I don't know why, but I've got a bloodstained sheet. <laughs> don't you remember how you took my virginity? <laughs> oh yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Hey, Abdirisha, isn't that your father? <laughs> Why, it is. The shock of Ahad Yahoo's death must have killed him. So, that makes you the king of Venice Shasi, right? I suppose. Hey, look, a messenger from Kadesh. An urgent message from Atacama, urging you to return to Kadesh immediately. Nikwadu, you and I will take the troops and return to Kadesh fast! I'm going with you. No, it's too dangerous. Stay with your brother. No, I fight. Oh, okay. Huh. Ha ha! We've caught you by surprise and now we'll avenge the death of Ahad Yahoo. Charge! We will return to Kadesh immediately. My children, you have grown so gaunt from your travels. Come, sit, drink with me. You must be tired after your long journey. Tell me, how did you defeat the forces of Ahad Yahu? We defeated our enemies by using the locals against them. Clever. And also because when Ahad Yahu deal with Arli, Baal Haddad intervened. What? Shit. It's true, it was a perfectly clear day when one cloud formed, lightning burst forth and smote Ahad Yahoo! Your coincidence. I've told you before and I'll tell you again. There are no such things as the gods. The Kohanin made them up so they could have power and riches. So, my father, what, how's your war against the Abirut been going for you? not so well. One by one, each of my brothers were defeated and slain. The Apirut are now planning one final attack on Kadesh. That's why I called you back. We're probably all doomed. Look who I caught cowering in fear at the temple! The traitor! Well, well. If it isn't the pusillanimous Kohan Benel. Thought you could slink away to correspond with the enemy to plot my downfall, didn't you? Guards, tear him limb from limb. Look at that. Ugh, what a mess. Shake, come clean this up. Isn't she a bit young to be a servant? She looks about ten years old. No, Shake here is my new wife. Come, give me a kiss. 
How is our mother doing? Uh, she died of food poisoning when you were away. Oh, hi, Nikmadu. Mawatalish, I see you've arrived. How was your trip from Hatosha? Very good, Nikmadu. I even saw an elephant. I said to it, Oh, hi, elephant. What did the king of Hatusha send you to tell me? He said if you do killing of Atacama and then you make Kadesh fashion of Hatusha, he will let you be the king of Kadesh. Good. Tell no one this, though. Let's go eat, huh? Oh, this is great party. You invited all of my friends. Good thinking. This foreign is Kadmuatalish. He's the emissary from Hatosha. He may be able to help our cause. Clearly, Atacama is a malevolent tyrant. His reign of terror won't come to an end until something is done. Martyr's blood stains Kadesh from Surat, and now Kohan Benel's death. They spirits will not be at peace until they are revenged. Also, it seems to me that under Atacama's incompetent leadership, Kodesh will surely fall. Also, it is bad that he is a pedophile. I volunteer to end his life! Are you sure? How will you get past the guards? I have a cunning plan. <sighs> HALT! Who goes to here? Hey guards, want some action? Catch me if you can! Oh, Baal Haddad, although I have not often prayed to you, I must regret what I must now do. Listen to me, my brothers, as Yahoo is my witness. The day tomorrow will bring us great victory. Kadesh will fall as it is the will of Yahoo. Now, my fellow Abaru, listen to my instructions. When the battle is done and Kadesh lays prone, spare not one man, woman, or child. If you wish, you may ravage the young virgins. Without further ado, the sacred sacrifice. Ya mashal malik mutbal. Abirut ajod bitzadimot Um yebun tabah yaladit Bilhadesha shopit yekun khal U yekun halas kabrim U yekun hadesh oshretim Shalem yekun meshal eshkanan Wakte bitzitken aliteshub Are all my troops mustered? And have they stretched? They are all ready! You go join the archers. I will stand at the defensive line. May Baal Haddad be with us in this battle. Are you, Kadashim, ready to die and rot in hell? I agree! It's a shame we're out of fennel! Today, we fight to defend the lives of our loved ones, our wives, our elders, our children.
hear you! I'm afraid he's already dead. I'm his son. I will fight you. Charge! On this day, Baal Hadar has triumphed over Yom.